Welcome to Richard Suttmeyer's Four and Four, four blips on my radar screen presented in four minutes or less. My first blip reiterates my opinion that the yield on the 30-year bond is headed higher, even with further rate cuts from the Federal Reserve. The daily chart for the 30-year bond shows the risk that the yield, that the key yield will rise towards its 200-day simple moving average at 4 spot 779, given closes cheaper than or above the 50-day simple moving average at 4 spot 422. The forces behind higher yields are the Fed rate cuts with elevated inflation, increased auction sizes to fund the tax rebate, and raising the limit on GSE conforming mortgages above 417,000. Increased supply of mortgage securities coupled with tighter credit standards will, will result in wider spreads for investors and make it, makes it tougher on lenders and homeowners. My second blip covers the topping out patterns for COMEX Gold and NYMEX Crude Oil. Gold reached its all-time high of 941.8 on the first day of February. Daily, monthly, quarterly supports are 897 spot 1, 897 spot 6, and 856 spot 5, with this week's resistance at 974 spot 1. NYMEX Crude Oil, my Annual supports are 78 spot 40 and 76 spot 30 with semi-annual and quarterly pivots at 88.04 and 88 spot 85 and weekly resistance at 93 spot 87, which was exceeded at Monday's high. My third blip profiles the dollar in my opinion that the euro and British pound are the weak, weak currencies in the 2008 currency story. Today I show a daily chart for the euro and how strength should continue to fail within the realm of weekly, quarterly, and monthly resistances at 1 spot 4844, 1 spot 5066, and 1 spot 5104. My fourth blip looks at the daily charts for the Dow Industrial Average and Dow Transportation Average. For the Dow, daily and weekly supports are at 12,074 and 11,913 with my semi-annual pivot at 12,670 and monthly and semi-annual resistances at 12,982 and 13,049. My call is for a trading range to continue until a bear comes out of hibernation. Longer term risk is to my annual support at 10,747. For the Dow transports, I show monthly, weekly, and annual supports at 4,371, 4,345, and 4,267 with a daily pivot at 47.13 and a 200-day simple moving average at 48.66. A close above the 200-day would be our signal that the trading ranges will extend the bear market correction. I will appear this morning on Business News Network in Canada at 9.50 a.m. This afternoon I will be creating an audio podcast discussing my newsletter value rater for small stocks on Wall Street Reporter which will be posted on www.rightside.com. If you are a Bloomberg user, my presentation covering the housing and finance sector is now available. To find the video podcast, at you, you can find the video podcast. Go to TNTS Go on the Bloomberg and click on Watch Past Sessions. If you are in the New York area next Tuesday, February 19th, join me at the next SIRE meeting as per the invitation shown here. Finally, remember that Traders Club returns on Right Side Live tomorrow, Thursday, February 14th at 6 p.m. Ask your Valentine to join you on the live radio show and chat. Send your comments and questions to support at rightsideadvisors.com. That's today's 4 and 4. Enjoy your day.